Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to show you how to do a coolant flush and refill on this 2007 Yamaha FZ6. The process and procedure we're going to go through today is applicable to a lot of other bikes and cars. So I'm going to give you some of the general tips about what to do and what to mind with the coolant system. Let's get started. So the first thing you got to do to start this job is make sure the bike is cold. On a Yamaha FZ6 you've got a coolant temp reading right up there. Make sure it says low, which basically means it's below 40 degrees. If not, a good tip is if you can grab the lower radiator hose or touch the radiator cap for a good 10 seconds without it all hurting yourself, you should be fine. Next, we're going to remove the radiator cap and the lower radiator hose on the right side of the bike. Make sure you have some paper set down in a bucket to catch the coolant. This engine does have a coolant drain near the water pump, but my engine guard is kind of in the way blocking that bolt from coming out, so I'm just going to drain the cooling system through the hoses. Now that we've drained the coolant for the first time, we've put it back together and I filled it with distilled water. We're going to run the bike real quickly and try and flush out and pick up any contaminants when we drain it again. After that, we'll put it all back together and fill it with antifreeze distilled water and water wetter. Along with flushing and changing the main coolant, you also want to inspect and change the coolant that's in your reservoir. It's tucked behind the header and there's three bolts that hold it in, but all you need is to make sure it's between the min and max line and has some good quality coolant in it. It's really good to have a syringe to take the coolant out of the reservoir. That way you don't have to unbolt it. So now that we have the coolant drained and flushed, we can talk about what are we going to use to fill the bike. The spike takes a total of two liters of coolant. Recommended from the factory is half antifreeze and half distilled water. I like to add a little bit of water wetter because I find to get lower coolant temps with it and kind of stop and go traffic. Antifreeze is in a concentrate form, so we're going to mix it 50-50 with our distilled water and leave a little bit of room with, for our water wetter. You always want to use distilled water in your cooling systems, be it a bike or a car, because distilled water doesn't have any of the impurities that tap water would, and this will prevent corrosion from happening in your cooling system. Water wetter wants you to add about one ounce for every one quart of the cooling system, so there's only two liters here, which is just over two quarts, so we're going to add just over two ounces of water wetter, and hopefully that will keep the bike nice and cool on the hot summer days. Cooling systems like the one on this bike are rather easy to bleed because they have a hole in the thermostat that allows air bubbles to bypass from behind the thermostat up to the top of the radiator. If you want to be extra sure you got all the air out of the cooling system, you can run the bike up to operating temperature with the radiator cap off. Once you've taken the bike for a spin, got it up to temp, let it cool down to the point where you can touch the radiator cap for a good period of time without hurting yourself, pop the cap, top up the fluid, close it up, and that's a wrap on the job. This one's pretty easy. A couple things you got to keep in mind is that you never ever want to open the radiator cap when the system is hot. You can get some serious burns from that. Also. This uh, antifreeze stuff, stuff, ethylene glycol, you don't want to leave it out for the cats to drink or leave any on the driveway because it's poisonous. It might smell really sweet, but it's actually really toxic and it can kill small animals and people if you drink enough. So don't do that. Don't ever drink antifreeze. It might smell sweet because of the ethylene glycol in it, but do not drink it. Thanks for watching. Smash the like button down below if you made it this far in the video.